All right, today we're gonna to be working on making a mask. Please remember that it is important that the mask that we're making will need a filter in order to help um, protect our healthcare officials. So we're gonna make a mask that has a pocket for them to insert the appropriate filter for them. So today you're going to need a piece of fabric that is 14 and a half inches by 10 inches wide, two pieces of elastic that are nine and three quarters inch, a twist tie, I got this from our bread bag, a big darning needle, some sort of cutting supply, it can be a scissors or rotary color cutter, a pencil, and then a ruler of some kind. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stitch a zigzag stitch along both sides of the 10 inch um, side of our fabric. So we're going to go to our sewing machine and we're going to zigzag all the way down both sides. Once you have both sides zigzagged, I'm gonna move my supplies over a little bit. We're going to take the right sides together and we're gonna match the two zigzag, zigzagged edges. So now that we have the zigzag edges together, I'm going to measure two and a half inches from each side and I'm gonna place a little mark. And what we're going to do is we are creating the inside for the insert of the mask right now. So now that I've measured two and a half inches from each side, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a quarter inch seam just to those parts, leaving the center open. And being the quilter that I am, I'm going to switch my feet over my quarter inch foot, but please feel free to use whatever foot you have on your sewing machine. I'm going to add a little back stitch. First, I'm going to change my stitch back to a straight stitch so you don't break your machine. All right. I have my quarter inch foot on. I'm going to add a quarter inch seam with a little back stitch on the end to secure my sewing. And then once I get to that line, I'm going to do another back stitch and then trim. And then I'm going to do the other side. Now I'm going to trim off my extra threads and I'm using a dark thread mainly so you can see what I'm doing but please feel free to use whatever thread that you like. Now I'm going to go to my ironing board. So I have a portable ironing board. I'm going to slide it over into the picture. I'm going to lay my fabric open. I'm going to, it's still sewn shut but what we're going to do, we're going to do this in one, one shot. We're going to center the seam and we're going to press our mask and we're going to press our seam open right here so that it gives it a good edge. And while we're pressing that seam open, I'm going to go ahead and press the whole mask so now that the seam is in the center. And this is going to be again for where we're going to be able to add that filter. Okay, so now that I have my seam pressed open, I am going to mark the corners because we're going to um, make the corners. So we're going to measure in an inch and three quarters from each side of the corner. And I'm using a combination of my ruler, which is well loved, so it doesn't have very many markings on it, and my green mat along um, my cutting mat. So an inch and three quarters on each side. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna draw a connecting line from each side. So I'm drawing out my corners. And 
and then I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine and we're gonna do a straight stitch on all four corners. So now that I have my corner sewn, I'm going to come back to my mat and I'm going to cut off all of those extra corners using a quarter inch seam. If you want to use your scissors, that's fine. We're just going to cut off that excess because we don't want that in the way of our mask once we turn it. Oops. Okay. So now that we have our corners done, we are going to turn our mask. So we're going to turn it from one of the ends. And we're going to make sure our corners are nice, make sure the fabric lays nice on the corners. And then we're going to go to our ironing board again. So let me pull that back into the picture. And then we're going to give it a nice press. Okay. So now that we have our mask face made, the inside, the filter uh, piece is on the inside facing up, facing us. We're going to take that wire that we had and we're going to place it up along one of the sides and just kind of eyeball center it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and we're going to add a top stitch and we're going to top stitch the corners along the long sides, make sure you don't catch that wire, and then back to the other corner. We're gonna leave the open ends alone right now. So we're gonna sew along the top and along the bottom. I'm gonna use about an eighth of an inch stitch because I like my top stitches to be pretty narrow. If you like a little bit of a bigger top stitch, feel free to make a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch. side all right I'm gonna trim off all my extra threads again So now you can see that my wire is here in the top piece. I'm going to lay it flat. So now we're going to, oops, I have a thread in here. That's the problem with dark threads. You can see them if you leave them in there. Okay, so now we're going to fold the bottom piece. We're going to use these corners as a guide. We're going to fold it up and in over that middle um, filter part. And we're going to fold the top down and we just want them to overlap a little bit. There's going to be a little bit of an overlap, kind of like an envelope. Okay, I'm going to iron that. So bring my ironing board in. 
Again, I just have them overlap just a little bit. Give both sides a press. Okay, this is the trickiest part in this whole mask now is taking these corners and we're gonna make the fold. So you're gonna take the corner and you're gonna fold it back to the main part of the fabric and you want that stitch that you made to be perpendicular. So we're gonna pin it open like that. Okay, now we're gonna do the opposite on this side. So I'm gonna take that corner, I need my stitch to be perpendicular to the side of my fabric. So that's a good, a good indicator that you have it folded correctly. And I'm gonna pin it. So now I have both of my ends pinned. I'm gonna take the end, the raw end that we haven't sewn yet, I'm gonna fold it once, I'm gonna fold it twice, and I'm gonna move my pins over top of that. We're making the sides where the elastic's gonna go. So you need to make sure that you get all of that folded in there. It's a lot of fabric right now. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. So my other side would be folded like this still. I'm gonna take my corner, make my stitch line perpendicular. See how it's gonna pull up the other side. That's okay, everything's gonna lay back down once we get it sewn right. So I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna take my other corner, come back perpendicular. I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna take my end and I'm gonna fold it in once. Oops, make sure my pin's not in the way. I'm gonna fold it in once. I'm gonna fold it in twice so it goes over all of those corners that we just pinned. Take my pin out, put it on the outside again. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the sewing machine. This is the tricky part because we have to sew through all of these layers of fabric. So just go slow, you'll be all right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do a smaller seam because we're gonna put our elastic through here. So I'm gonna do about an eighth of an inch seam, making sure I tack it on both ends. Make sure you do a good back stitch so it doesn't come apart. All right, we are almost there. So now that we have our mask made, our filter pockets on the inside. This is what the outside of the mask looks like, minus the extra thread. Now we're going to take our elastic. I have a big darning needle. It was the easiest thing I had because it has a big eye in it. So we're gonna feed the elastic through the ends and it's kind of hard because we're trying to miss all of that extra fabric that we have folded in there. There we go. All right, so we have the elastic through on one side. If you'd like to tie the ends together, you can tie them together. I'm actually just gonna run my sewing machine stitch over it a couple times. I wanna make sure that the elastic doesn't come apart. So I'm just gonna forward and reverse a couple times. Trim off my threads. And I obviously don't want that part sticking out, so I'm gonna pull it through and have it hide inside of the mask. There we go. Now we're gonna go back over to the other pesky side and hopefully this side will work again. All right, thread my elastic through.
There we go. All right, and we're gonna sew that side together. Trim off those edges and then again, pull that through so it's on the inside of the mask. And there you go, finished mask.